welcome back to the channel created by beauty okay so <laughs> yeah it's the same outfit i got on in the other video but i wanted to go ahead and knock this video out i was supposed to do this video first it's an updates video and what to expect on my channel um so a lot has happened um i think i recorded and posted my last video on my channel in august um and a lot has happened since august um i won't go into too much detail about everything at least not in this particular video here but august was my birthday um birthday month and that was fantastic and then it seemed like everything started going downhill after that um so in august um i first started noticing some mold in my well i didn't know that it was mold um so i started experiencing some mold in my apartment in august september my aunt on my dad's side passed away um so you know death in the family that's never easy and then um still dealing with the mold situation that's when i figured out that it was mold and it was a horrendous horrendous situation which i'm going to make another video about that so september really battling with the mold it had got extremely bad um extremely bad so battling with that and then october um really really still dealing with the mold but in october my grandmother on my mother's side uh passed away and it was unexpected um and my grandma anybody that knows me knows my grandma was my life that's my hitter my ride or die i cut you i cut you over my grandma um like she was my best friend like she was everything to me and um you know i see i me and my son we go visit my grandma often because she doesn't stay too far um, so we would go and visit her, you know, just spend some time with her, like I said, because I really, really love my grandma. And um, it was unexpected because she wasn't sick. Um, and we had just, me and my son was just down there um, spending some time with her. And then the next weekend, um, she passed away. And um, yeah, mm, I dropped my phone, but yeah, <laughs> okay. I love my grandma and I miss her. I miss her dearly. Um, yeah, I didn't think I was just going to start feeling that way. But goodness, I just got super emotional. I love my grandma and I miss her. And like I said, it was just really unexpected. And it just hit me hard. It hit me hard. Um, so I buried my grandmother. I buried my grandmother on Halloween. Um, and then um, at this point, um, I was completely moved from out of the apartment. Um I almost lost everything that I had um, and then just like I said dealing with my grandmother I wasn't expecting that and she was my everything you know um, so still dealing with that and then November um, my grand my granddad on my dad's side he passed away um, so dealing with that in November Thanksgiving just didn't seem the same I was I was not myself I was in I was in a whole different space and then throughout those months i i've been single for about eight years and i got into a relationship um yeah and i'm not sure if i'm gonna go into detail about that or but i don't know because i've i learned some things about myself in that i got into a relationship uh prematurely um, you know, and I'm not going to sit up here and point fingers and, and do the blame game and all of that. But I got into a relationship. And like I said, I've been single eight years, got into a relationship prematurely and got into a relationship when I was dealing with so much pain and so much grief. And that was a roller coaster. It was a roller coaster, but I learned a lot. So it was dealing with that relationship. I'm no longer in that relationship. Um, but I did, like I said, I did learn a bunch of things about myself in that relationship. Um, and then, like I said, my grandfather passed away in November. Christmas didn't seem the same. Not Nothing, nothing was the same. And then I had to move in with my parents. And then that just made me feel some kind of way. And then it was just, it was just hard. And I also, during that time, um, period of me losing my apartment you know made a hasty decision that you know what maybe this is the time for me to relocate so in the process of all of that I was trying to relocate and that fell through it was just so much going on and I was trying to make I was trying to make life-changing decisions um I was trying to make life-changing decisions during a time period where I should not have been. So it was a lot of things that was going on, a lot of things that was happening, a lot of emotions. There were times where I honestly felt like God was going to take me up out of here. <laughs> like I honestly felt that way, just overwhelmed, just 
sad, grief, depressed, you know, and then still being a mother full time, you know, then still working full time. It was just a lot. And like I said, I'm gonna be honest, there was some times when I was like, Lord, you go ahead and take me now. Like, for real. Like, take me now. I know what they say, that you won't give us nothing that we can't handle. But you done made a mistake somewhere because all of this I cannot handle. And I honestly felt like, like I said, I honestly felt like I was on my way up out of here a couple of times. Um, but I just thank God for seeing me through. Um... And like I say, um, some of these things I'll go, um, you know, into detail with. But it was just a lot going on. So there was no way that I was finna pick up the camera. Then my computer uh, was messed up. I had to get my computer fixed. So it was just a lot. Then I thought the camera was tore up. So I was like, oh, just forget get it but even throughout all of that i kept youtube 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 make a video make a video and i'm like man no nah, i can't get on the camera like this don't nobody want to hear nothing i got to say who am i don't nobody know me blah 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 you know some um so it was just a number of things but 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 god but god <laughs> so just grateful to be back and like i said YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. It's been a passion of mine. It's been a dream of mine since 2012. 2012 is when I first started watching YouTube. And ever since then, I've wanted to create a channel. And I honestly believe that it's what I'm, I honestly believe that it's a part of my journey on what I'm, on what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, because I have a lot to share. Um, I have a lot to share and, um, there's a targeted audience that I want to reach. There's some programs that I want to start. I have some ideas, you know, business plan ideas and things like that. Um, that I want to do, you know, and I get YouTube, 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 YouTube. When I tell you that thing haunts me in my sleep and I read a quote, which in, um, let me see, is it in my phone? Then I need to get up out of here. Um, and it, it, it is so true. Um, hold on. Let me look through my phone for it. Um, we probably should have had it up. Um, where it be? Hmm, I may have deleted it, but it was pretty much just saying your purpose will haunt you. Your purpose will haunt you. It won't let you sleep at night. Um, it won't let you sleep at night. It'll run through your mind all the time. And that is so true. When I tell you, um, oh, here it goes. When you know you're destined for greatness, your potential haunts you. It keeps you up at night. You won't feel complete until you manifest until you manifest your higher purpose. Um, and I think I got that from off of Facebook or Instagram. And it's so true. At a majority of the things that I be doing, and I be I be YouTube, make a video, YouTube, but I be like, nah, mm -mm, go back and forth, no, nah, like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. but when I tell you that thing haunts me, and that was another thing, like, you know. I look at YouTube so much and I look at everybody, you know, I look at YouTube so much, you know, and then I'll be like, well, here I am. Don't nobody know who I am. Don't nobody want to hear what I got to say. It's already other people talking about this. Blase, blase, blase. Just coming up with 1,500 reasons to doubt myself um, and stuff like that. And, um... You know, then I'm like, well, I ain't got the right camera. I ain't got, because I didn't want to record in my car, but this is really the only quiet time that I have. So I'm like, man, all these high YouTubers, they got these fancy backgrounds. They got this, they got that, and I don't have it, and I can't do this, and I can't do that, and this ain't going to look right. I don't know what to say in this video. I don't know how to start this. I don't know. Just coming up with every doggone excuse, and I was saying all those excuses, and thinking all those excuses in my head, and then, and, and then in the other side, YouTube, YouTube. YouTube, YouTube so it was a constant battle and I said all that to say with my channel I really want to do a lot of lifestyle uh, you know just lifestyle you know um, self-awareness self-development um, I am a certified life coach I've been a certified life coach for two years just haven't done anything with it but now I feel like it's really time to dive into that and like I said I have a lot of programs and I have a couple of nonprofits that I would really really like to start so going forward with my channel you're gonna see um 
a, a gang of things. Um, me and my son, we like mukbangs, so you might see some mukbangs on my channel. Um, I like makeup, so you'll see some makeup videos, meal preps. I'm trying to, you know, live a healthier lifestyle, so you'll see some meal preps, some exercise. But a lot of my videos are going to be centered around self awareness, you know, just becoming a better person, becoming the best version of myself. So, self awareness, self growth, a lot of those things. So, be on the lookout for that. And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that has stayed subscribed to my channel. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. I plan on being consistent this time around because like I said, it's a passion of mine. So I thank each and every one of you that have stayed subscribed to my channel and be on the lookout because great things are coming. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you later.